planning to apply for a PhD abroad or in one of the prestigious institute in your own country? Chances are that you would be required to submit along with your other mark sheets and scores a graduate record examination score as well. Graduate record examination or GRE. GRE is one of a 60 year old examination which is one of the most widely accepted examination score across universities across the globe. And today in this video, I, Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer is going to talk to you in detail about GRE. So there are two types of GRE tests. The first is the general GRE test and the second category belongs to the subject wise GRE test. So there are six subjects in which GRE tests are conducted. These six subjects are chemistry, physics, biology, mathematics, literature in English and psychology. Today the focus of this video would be the GRE general test because it is a test which, which has wider acceptability and usability. So let us now understand what are the skills which are tested in the GRE general test. Skill tested by GRE general test. So the skills with GRE tests are those skills which a student or which you have developed over a period of time. These are those skills which are not related to any specific domain but are skills which are required by each one of us for success in our professional life in any of the domains that we are working in. And that is why we call this test as the GRE general test. So there are three specific skills which GRE tests which are number one verbal reasoning skills number two are quantitative reasoning skills and at number three are the analytical writing skills what is the duration of this GRE test so on the 22nd of from the 22nd of September 2023 the duration of GRE test is undergoing a major reform Earlier GRE test was for a total of 4 hours but now this test is only of 2 hours. So in 2 hours you, you get questions related to all of these 3 skills which I've just mentioned below. How many questions are there and in what time do you have to cover? What are the general aspects of these skills? We will learn in the next section where I give you a brief overview of the GRE test. As I've already told you, there are three sections in GRE test. The first one would be the analytical writing section in which you would be given one essay type question which has to be completed in a total of 30 minutes. After this, you would be attempting the section of quantitative reasoning which will have a total of 27 questions divided further into two sections and to complete this section you would be given a total of 47 minutes. The last section would be the verbal reasoning section which will again have 27 questions divided further into two more sections. A total of 41 minutes would be given to complete this section. Remember there is no penalty for not attempting a question or for giving an incorrect answer. Also, within each section, you can attempt the questions in any order that you want to. So, this is all about the GRE test. But I'm sure by now you want to know that how and when can you apply for the GRE test. So, GRE test. Unlike all the other Indian tests that we have which are conducted either annually or biannually or fixed dates, GRE test can be attempted any time when you feel you are prepared. So here are the steps to register for the GRE test. 
Remember all the information that I've taken or I'm sharing with you in this video has been taken from the official GRE website only. So this is totally, totally reliable information. Okay, so the very first step to register for GRE is that you go to the GRE website yourself. Once you go to the GRE website, you can click on the test centers which are available. So if you can see a form on the screen, so there will be something like this which you have to fill up and as soon as you fill up your PIN code, you will get a list of test centers near your location. You can choose any one of the test centers given here, which will be your third step. Once you've chosen the test center, then you can click on choosing the date and the time and a calendar will appear in front of you as you can see on the screen here. So in this calendar, you will see all the slots and the times which are available to give the GRE test in that particular center of your choice. And as per your convenience, you can book a slot in your center. So these are the four steps which you will follow in if you want to give a GRE test in one of the GRE test centers. However, there is a second option as well, which is called as the GRE home test. Yes, you heard me right. GRE test can also be given at home. So there is an option of GRE home test which is also available on the GRE website itself. So as the name suggests, this test can be attempted from home on your own laptop. However, there are certain equipments, there are certain conditions which need to be fulfilled before you can give this test. The details of these equipments, this setting is clearly mentioned on the GRE website. You can have a look over there. So if you have all these equipments and a suitable setting, then you can also attend the GRE home test. But remember to check with the university where you're going to use the GRE score because not all universities accept the GRE home test score. So do verify this before attempting for this, one, this test. As far as the scoring of GRE is concerned, then GRE test score would be available. The unofficial score will be visible to you right after you have submitted your GRE test. However, the official score would come to you through GRE in a total of 8 to 10 business days. The fee for the GRE test is across location around $220. The GRE test score is valid for a total of 5 years. So this is all about the GRE test. In case you have any other question related to GRE, then you can always ask me the same in the comment section below. In case you are looking for a special guidance, a personalized guidance or a mentor, who can guide you through your PhD admission journey in India or abroad, then you can get in touch with me on the number given below. Thank you so much for watching my video and do let me know what are the other topics in which I can make videos for you. Would you like me to make videos on GMAT, TOEFL, IELTS and other international exams? Thank you so much once again for watching my videos. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and have a nice week ahead.